Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about one of these solenoids, which uh, if you watch the Slow Boat to China episode number 8, uh, you saw me unbox this guy. Now let's bring this up close here so you can get a good look at it. This as you can see is a 12 volt solenoid that needs about an amp to operate. And what happens when the power is applied, this electromagnet in here fires and it pulls the plunger in. When the power is released, it snaps back out. So this is an excellent device to use as some sort of remote door lock or to actuate just about anything you want. But due to the fact that it needs 12 volts, and that it needs one amp, you're not going to be able to just plug this directly into the Arduino and make it work. So what I thought we'd do first is bring in this meter. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And we'll put it on amps. And then what we're going to do is apply 12 volts to it from my bench power supply and see at what amperage it fires. So I have the meter hooked up in the amps range and it's hooked up serially through the positive lead. So let's increase the amperage and see where it fires. It's beginning to fire at a little bit about a half amp. So 600 milliamps, I'm going to cut the power and release it. And let's see if 600 milliamps is enough to pull it in. Yeah. So it looks like 600 milliamps will do it. Now, since we're all engineers here, let's add a little bonus. And we'll call it 75 or I'm sorry, 750 milliamps. Get that set just about right there. That's yeah, close enough. That gives us a little overage. Gives us a nice snap. So 750 milliamps at 12 volts will fire this. So next we need to hook it up to our Arduino. So let's do that next. Okay, so we're gonna hook this up to the Arduino with a simple push button to activate it in a three second delay. So the button is wired one side to ground, one side to our uh, plus five volts through a 10K resistor and over to D2. D4 is running back here to the base of this 2N2222 transistor. And we will connect the emitter to one side of our solenoid and we'll connect the other side of our solenoid to ground and we'll connect our power supply like that and let me grab one more wire here we will connect V in to the positive of our 12 volt supply. So we have a 12 volt rail here, 5 volt rail here, and then we power it up. There should be a three second delay when we press the button. One, two, three, release. It's that simple. Do it one more time for you. One, two, three, and release. And that's all there is to it. Everything here is uh, working pretty well. We've got her all hooked up and you can drive a 12 volt high amperage source from your Arduino using a transistor. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me the big old thumbs up. 
feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.